Smurfy greetings YouTubers, it is I3 Hellgear. Welcome back to Smurf's Epic Run. So, we're going to run with Jokey Smurf today. And, most recently, hit level 56. Now, something else recently showed up too. You know how I was going through this and I would level up a Pussy Willow Pixie? Well, Ooh, Amethyst levels up. Nice. Got a new one. This is her. I posted this on Twitter, too. Her name is Hailfrost, and she gives you a pink heart every 20 seconds and collects 40 sarsaparilla in 40 minutes when she goes to hunt. I'll play with her and showcase her another time but for now this is Jokey's era now to those of you who don't know Jokey lets you pick up two scratch cards if you if you hit the scratch card gift at the end of the stage that being said it's time to run and instead of using like the fire hose I'm rocking the golden ticket artifact which when you use it it has a chance of the box scratching card that you get at the end of the stage. You can give it the golden scratching card. And the golden scratch cards are the ones that you get every five days during a, you're on your fifth day streak. So every five days, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 after you have Papa. Wow, that was some serious delay. Are you kidding me? Is the de is the delay that bad? There we go. I want to see if this combo will actually work to the point where I can get a golden ticket come out. You know. Smurf combos are an interesting thing to try out, but they don't always give you the results that you'd like. So glad to have invincibility going through this particular segment. Makes me feel a lot better. All right, cool. Crap. Can I not have any more delays, please? All right. Yes, bash the gift with your own gift. So this is how Jokey works. You scratch off one. And it gives you another one. And we'll see if we can get the game to not freeze. And uh, see if we can actually get a golden ticket. Also increase the sarsaparilla storage to 770. So hopefully as things continue to go on, we'll have a good time. See if we can get any golden tickets. You know, that's one of the things you got to do with the trial and error of this stuff. Alright. We're going to a flying smurf stage, so actually. Let's test it. Let's test and see. Switch up the Pussy Willow Pixie, actually. Um, where's Reed Nest? Alrighty then. Let's switch it up and see if, um, 
if the golden ticket works in a flying smurf stage. Because that's one of the interesting things about a lot of these artifacts is if they'll work in the flying smurf stages. So, we're about to find out. The only artifact I really know that works in the flying smurf stage is the feather. You know, the double coin scepter does not work in the flying smurf stage. Uh, that, mm, you're going to make me, you know what, screw it. I'm not even going to go through that. There we go. At least the immortality potion works in the flying smurf stage without having to go through this. And as you've seen, the golden ticket does not work in a flying smurf stage. I guess it's only the feather that works with the flying smurf stages. Actually, no, it doesn't even work on the flying stage either. It just reduces your stage consumption by one. That's interesting. Sparkling Dot gives me a card. Let's switch back to you. Let's take these. 2,000 coins. What's in the chest? All right, then. Let's keep on moving. We're going to see if we can actually bid farewell to Smurfy Grove in this episode. By the way, did you guys get the most recent update? The, the uh, Raiders Lost Temple? It should be part of the Mayan Temple update. So, if you haven't gotten it yet... Uh. Yo, camera, turn the headlights off, huh? Reload. Uh. Well, that's not too bad, actually. That lag is just bad. Woo! Thought I missed that one. Okay. You know what? That makes me sad. That makes me sad, because I should not have fallen into the pit right there. Oh, boy. Come on, Jokey. And, of course, here's something I want to explain, because I had the time to... I had the time to experiment with this combo. And I want, I can honestly tell you this, if you do not get the gift at the end of the stage, you do not, I repeat, if you do not get the gift at the end of the stage, you do not get a scratch. I'm just going to continue here. Perfect. 
Oh, come on. That's the lag. Damn. I'm so upset now. Focus, camera. Focus. Mm. You know what? See, just like so. Didn't get the gift, nothing to scratch. Off to the next stage. Next stage, folks. Not really having a good time killing it with uh, Jokey here. Not really killing it with Jokey. Would like to be killing it with Jokey. But, you know, I still remember when I opened up Jokey the first time in the previous season. I had such a bad day in the stadium. And then I cleared the tr the stadium and opened up one of the uh, trophies. And who would pop out? Jokey Smurf. I felt like the game was mocking me. All right, try that again. So here we go one more time. You know what? I'm not even gonna get mad at that. Let's just keep on moving. Glad to get the potion right there. This is another one of those five stages. Uh, okay, cool. There we go. Feeling really good right now. There it is, son. Okay, thank you for getting him up there. I appreciate that. Jeez. Man, this is just not my night. Really not my night. Oh, come the hell on! Right near the end. Always near the end. Thank you for grabbing him. God. Such bad luck. Ugh. Mm.
man, that was just, this is bad. This is really bad. I'm not even going to lie. This is bad. Ah, uh, son of a, mmm. Man, killing me here. Killing me. One, two, three. Okay. Is this the time where I use a booster? <laughs> is this is this the time where I use a booster? No. Like all things, if it's so anything I've learned from Smurfs Bubble Story, and I hope you guys are watching my Smurfs Bubble Story playlist. If there's anything I learned from Smurfs Bubble Story, you use those things when you're in a pinch. And right now, I'm not really in a pinch. There's one. Focus camera. Come on, man. Good to have the immortality going on. Oh, you know that big dragonfly? You actually, I've actually knocked it out during the off-camera grind. And it still only gives you three coins for it. Which is a shame. I expected it to give you more. Alrighty, that's everybody. Now let's keep everybody. And kept everybody. Too bad I won't be scratching any tickets this time. Oh well. Got the three stars, so that's what's important. Hmm. What other news? What other news should I talk about? Smurfs Bo Oh, that's right. In other, speaking of Smurfs Bubble Story, they recently updated their game as well. See? Here's Hail Frost getting some stuff for me. Smokey, are you up, dude? Windleaf wind is up, but Smokey, you up? As you can see, I've leveled up a few people. Good. Smokey is up. Give me a quick deuce, man. Okay. Stage 59. And I will be using that chest, too. 44. Good. Might just get out of this without too many hassles. We're almost done. Got some energy wiggle room, too. Alrighty then. Didn't get the invincibility potion, but would have liked to. Would have liked to. Alright. This is starting to be a very expensive episode of Smurfs Epic Run. Almost as bad as when I ended the first season. Ugh, I had to use the save me on every freaking stage on that one. It was that bad. Oh, sweet. Get some magnet action for the for the fiesta time. That makes me feel a lot better. That made me feel real good. A nice break. And there's a two thousand coin mission completed.
This is really good. I'm actually kind of trying to focus here so I don't lose anyone. Which I just lost someone. Crap. I'm mad at that. Near the end, too. Near the end and lost one. Ah. Come on. Money in a card. Great. All right, we've reached the end of the Forbidden Forest. We've reached the end of the Smurfy Grove. We've reached the end of the Lost Village. This is the stage where we open up and rescue this Smurf. Hmm. That 10 power-ups is going to be very helpful. Let's open the chest. 117 keys. Yes, let's open that. Get some gems and money back. Nice. Matter of fact, so nice, make it twice. Good. Stage 60. Here we go. Got to remember, rescue the Smurf at the end of this stage. I still remember when the Forbidden Forest came out with the update. They had Smurfette doing this and at the end of the stage there was the legendary Smurf who was in this cage. So, let's keep an eye out for her. Here we go. You know what? Not mad that I didn't get down there. I'll manage. Probably miss one of the Smurfs, but it's the one at the end that's the most important. So as I was saying before with Smurfs Bubble Story, it updated, but they had a recent they had a poll where you could pick between which new Smurfs you wanted to add to the game. And one of them is <laughs> Smurf Jade. That's right, Smurf Jade, as in the Smurf who only had one line running into Papa during the movie. Now with this up, the Temple update, it said that there was going to be another event in honor of the release of Smurfs The Lost Village coming to digital and uh, video home DVD soon. And they're saying that it's going to be have one of the girls from the movie. Now, if Smurfs Bubble Story goes two for two when it comes to these Smurfs, on revealing who each one is, ooh, that was close. Got the 10 power-ups, great. Thank you for grabbing that guy. Alright, cool. I'm rather tense here. Alright, now let's get the most important member of this team. Really? Really? Oh, I can I can cry foul now. I really can cry foul. I can cry foul. That was supposed to be the the Smurf in the cage. They showed in the video. It's on their Twitter page with the new Forbidden Force. You have Smurfette going through. She jumps open breaks open the cage and we get the Smurf that comes out of the cage. We get her in the cage. Great. Shenanigans. I call shenanigans.
get that extra charge, get that extra loot. Get the keys of the gems. Well, everyone, we're done here. So, let's check the map for any sparkling dots. Yep. That was a quick little bit of warping. Ah, the Forbidden Forest, the Lost Village. Thank you very much. I have all the collection pieces from the Lost Village. I've picked up all of the chests along the way, the brown and the blue. I've opened each and every one of these gold chests, and most importantly, I got the smurf that comes from it. I'm going to keep it on this section of the map because, as you can see, not every stage is three-starred. There we go. It's supposed to say new. Two hearts and the triple jump. Look. I know this is supposedly the mysterious Smurf, but you can tell by the hair. It's Smurf Lily. Smurf's bubble story gave it away. This is actually Smurf Lily. <laughs> and we, I know this because when you get the seven day streak for the very first time in Smurf's bubble story, you have this mysterious Smurf. And when you, and when you collect her, who pops up behind it? It's Smurf Lily. I mean, you can tell by the hair. So, we have Smurf Lily now. <laughs> yeah. It's good to have Smurf Lily. So, let's see. We have Smurf Lily, Smurf Willow, Smurfette. Can I move forward? There we go. And we have Sasset. So, just about all the girls to date, not counting duplicates. Jokey man, this was a rough episode to be doing it with you. But we pulled through. And honestly, I'm glad this is over. Alright, so I'm going to go off camera, get the rest of these stars, and then in the next episode, we'll take the mysterious Smurf Lily for a run. So, thank you guys for watching me clear all of the Lost Village. Mmm, the game reset. The game reset. All right, fine. I got a minute. I want to see if I still have Smurf Lily. But either way, while I wait for the game to load up, thank you guys for coming out as always to watch, coming out to run. And if you've enjoyed yourselves, show your love, hit the like button. And of course, if you want to see more of that good, good Smurfs Epic Run antics and episodes, because there are more in my plans make sure you hit the like button and of course subscribe to the channel obviously we're not going to see if smurf is still there so i'll tweet about it <laughs> ah but until then you guys thank you raise your thumbs if you enjoyed this one now let me take my goose from the oven because i'm done bye bye everybody Bye-bye.